Hey yo, it's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize and today I'm going to go through Cameron's new album called The Lost Files Volume 1. So obviously there's going to be more of these types of albums from Cam. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Alright, let's get into it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with going through each track and then I'll kind of go through what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it and I'll rate each one, then I'll rate the whole album at the end. So first track on the album was called Run It Up. This was a really good start of the album because it had that classic dip set production with the explosive kind of instrumentation. The beat was fire. The raps on this song wasn't amazing. There were no like standout lines really, except for one for me about DJ Khaled when he said that he stopped Khaled from getting robbed. Bit of a random line. I don't know if they got beef or had some issue outside. But this song was alright, I rate it a 6 out of 10, mainly for the beat, because the beat was strong. Track 2 was Go and Get It. Now this song wasn't as good as, as the first song, it was alright, I like the chorus, very catchy. But the song is like an old school Cam song, like he's just bragging quite a lot on this. Throwback kind of song if you really think about it, lyrically if you listen to it. But I'd rate this at best a 5 out of 10 so pretty average really nothing special track number three is the critics was well, called critics this song was better i liked it it was a classic classic dip set beat the sample in there as well was really really remind me of back in the day like oh sixth kind of time with that dip set sound and then the cam came with that classic cameron flow you know it was really good flow i like the second verse in particular it was very good. I overall would rate this song a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 6.5, but I'll just keep it as a whole number and put it as a 6. Next track, Get Mine Regardless. This is probably my favourite song on the album. This had a really cool beat. It was very simple, but very effective for what he was doing. It was like a storytelling song. I like the ad-libs as well. That was really cool. That Dipset was always good at ad-libbing. But yeah, this, the ad-libs were cool, made it a better song. Chorus, I really liked it. Almost as good as the critics song, Chorus, but this one I think was the better chorus. Oh, it was kind of like a bridge. The way his voice went up an octave was really cool. But I rate this song a number eight. Definitely my favorite song on the album. Next track, Top of the Pyramids. This one is one of the weakest songs of the album, definitely. I didn't like the chorus at all. I thought Styles P verse, I thought Styles was very good on this. It wasn't an amazing verse, but it was a typical Styles verse, which was good. And then Cam's verse was not as good, but it was just okay. So overall, the song was kind of boring. It was probably the most boring song on the album. That's why I rate it number four. Four out of ten. Definitely a skippable. So next track, Blow My High. This was a really interesting track. The production was very, very interesting. I liked the sample with the, the female voice throughout. It was a very cool track. It reminded me of like the swagger of Cam back in the day. But it was a good it was a good rap song. I don't think it was anything amazing, but it wasn't a bad song as well. So for me, I rate it a number five out of ten. The next track was called Shaking. Shaking Bacon. It was called Shaking. Another classic dipset beat with the samples and explosiveness of it all. I think this was the best song for, in terms of uh, Cameron's rapping. I thought he, he rapped really well in this, the flow, the lyrics. So all together, the beat and the lyrics went very well together. Probably the best overall song in terms of cohesiveness. But I rate this a number seven. Not quite my favorite song on the album, but close to it. Then the last track of the album called It's Only Money is actually the beat from Cameron's podcast with Mace called It Is What It Is. But this was the worst song of that album. I know this is not a proper, proper album, but it was definitely the weakest out of all these tracks. I'm not feeling that beat. I know Cam just wanted to make a, a song out of his podcast music, but I wasn't feeling it at all. Even the raps were kind of weak. Um... It just sounded all disjointed and stuff. I remember the video came out as well, if anyone ain't seen it. The video was kind of corny, but Cam was just being creative. He had a whole dance routine. But yeah, definitely the weakest song on the album. I'll place it as a number two out of ten for this song. 
like I said before, we know it's not an official Cameron album, but there's very good, some very good songs and very decent songs on there. I can see why this is called the Lost Tapes, why they didn't make the album. But I mean, there's one or two that I think could have definitely made an official Cam album. But I think it's worth a listen if you're a Cameron fan. He doesn't come out with music often, so go and enjoy even these scraps that he's put out. But overall, I will rate this album a 6 out of 10. There were two good songs, several average and a couple bad ones in my opinion. So I'll give it like a 6 at best. I wouldn't put it as a 7, maybe 6.5, but overall I would say a 6 out of 10. But let me know what you think about the album if you've heard it. Are you looking forward to The Lost Files Part 2? Or was this a prep for the next official Cam album? Which I'm definitely there for. One of my favourites. But let me know what you think about the album. Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.